Hey guys, and welcome back to Dragon Quest VI with the, per the original trio. So, I did some level grinding, uh, job grinding I should say. And uh, we are now, since we are past, what's his name, Murdoff? <laughs> we got our jobs and all that, so why don't I show you guys what we have so far. Uh, Carver here is going to be the Merchant and Monster Master. He's eventually going to get the Ranger class. Don't worry, everyone's going to have an Uber class each. He's eventually going to get the Liquid Metal Slime class. That's why he's getting the Ranger class, just to get it out of the way, since we need to get every single job. There may be challenge runs in the future where I'll set aside someone else to do all the jobs or something in case I need to do specifics. But for now, this is my plan. Everyone's going to have different intermediary jobs. One of... They're basically getting, like, three total. Um, Millie, I'm planning to have be the mage. So she's going to have Armamentalist and Sage. But she's also going to get Dragon. Uh, mostly Dragon, is she's getting that for defensiveness. Since it has better uh, resistances, I think. Either way, it, that's the idea behind it. So she also get better HP, too. So that's my plan for her. For the hero, he's going to get, well, the hero class. But he's also going to get Paladin, so he has access to Kerplunk and the Luminary class, of all things, so that he can have some healing. As you can see, he's got Gadabout finished and has part of the Dancer. And as you see over here, uh, Carver's got Merchant and Monster Master. And Millie, at the moment, has Mage done and has got a little bit into Priest. But anyway, Carver is going to be getting Gladiator, Ranger, as mentioned, and a Metal. So that's going to be all nine classes that we can get. I've also, this means that they're going to only get the respective first class uh, stuff as necessary too. So Carver is going to get warrior, fighter, thief, monster master, merchant, hero is going to get fighter, priest, dancer, gadabout, hero, and, well, hero is intermediary. And Millie only has to do three, warrior, mage, and cleric. Pretty nice, actually. Uh, but that's the plan anyway. If I need to have more jobs available like if i literally get to a point where i'm at like level 99 still can't beat the bonus boss well i'll handle that and i will mention when i have to stop doing that but for now that's the plan because i'm gonna do just the restricted one of each intermediary job at max for a playthrough i'm gonna try that anyway that's a lot of future talk let's go with the initial talk here which is where we're going to fight bronson bronson's pretty easy yes we are he wants to pummel us, but that's okay. We're going to be also fighting his brethren who have the exact same sprite but different stuff. Let's do this. For mini boss time against Bronson. First things first, I forgot to take these off. But this is a pretty easy fight. He knuckle sandwiches. You're going to sap. And she's going to throw a kabuff up just to kind of keep us okay. Good, sap actually landed. He does have 50% resistance to sap. And yeah, so damage support why don't you do let me see what other abilities do you have at the moment i'm not going to be a fan of these super duper big uh spell lists though why don't you do a cassap to help out good and there you go that's maxed out all right these two can well these two can attack and you can just heal this is essentially going to be the party carver your attacks trio is kind of it's kind of like yeah, you know what? It's kind of like Dragon Quest 2 in a way, where you have the main attacker who mostly just attacks. You have the middle attacker, but except, you know, he doesn't die all the time. Uh, and then you have your mage. So she's going to be a dragon mage, so, you know. Uh, she could try attacking, because she actually has decent attack, too. Though he does have dodgy dance up, so, yeah. That did not matter. I don't think I have anything to stop Dodgy Dance. I don't believe, anyway. Actually, you have Dodgy Dance, too. Could you just... You don't have Band Dance yet, do you? No. That's a shame. Yeah, he, he resists a lot, though, according to this. So why don't you Dodgy Dance for the shit of it, too? I don't Actually, no, wait, that's unnecessary. We, we got our defenses up. I'm, like, starting to get, you know, think, like, you know... Oh, yeah, well, how do you like it? And it's like, it's a computer. It's gotta chill out here. <laughs> Oh no, what a desperate attack. I think uh, Dodgy Dance only lasts like a couple turns anyway. Based on our attacks and all that. But yeah, that's all you have to do. Bronson's easy. So that's it for him. We'll go ahead and fight. I think it's Brick and Brock next? Yeah, Brick and Brock. I'll see you there. 
Okay, we're here at Brick and Brock. We haven't really done anything different with our party here. Item-wise, I didn't think it was important to go over before, but yeah, we don't really have much other than uh, Millie having a lot of the items here, though. To be honest, I'm thinking that maybe Trio should have that instead, but eh. At the moment, this works okay enough. Eventually, Trio's probably going to get some of the hand-me-down items until he can get better skills, since right now he's not going to get too many good ones. But this one's pretty simple enough. Though it can get a little dicey if you don't have the right skills. But anyway, for another mini-boss time! Alright, for this one, uh, they are they are completely susceptible to Knuckle Sandwich. They also are weak to Poison, but we don't have a Poison move that actually does anything to them right now. Otherwise, it would actually be somewhat useful. So, unfortunately, like, they only have 15% resistance to it. But for now, just Knuckle Sandwich, that's your best bet. For you, you are just... they are immune to Sap, so you're better off just uh, attacking in regular... Attack Brick, because every now and then he does double up and makes him susceptible to stuff. And Brock sometimes covers him, but that's okay. We're just going to come up with Millie, though. Just focus down... focus him down instead. Alright, uh, yeah. Knuckle Sandwich, attack, and keep kabuffing. Right now, Millie just is the only one that really needed it, but that's okay. Oomph is not too bad of a deal, as long as you've got the uh, kabuff up. And you go ahead and do that. Yep, we're fine. Yeah, he covers him when sometimes when he doubles up, which sucks. But, you know, sometimes he also does Defending Champ, which basically nullifies all damage. That's why you're better off not targeting him. You just target Brick in case he doesn't get covered. You're better off. Uh, why don't you send a heal to her? And she's kabuffed up enough. I think at this point she can actually be on the offensive. She's going to use Boom. That way she can hit both of them. All right, we got to throw up another kabuff then. But yeah, and basically, Millie and Trio will be alternating back and forth on who's doing support work as needed. But once Trio is out of uh, dancer territory, he could actually contribute probably better damage. Uh, we're in decent... Yeah, we're in decent uh, way here. We can boom. See, with boom now, it'll do double damage to you, Brock. So I'm okay with that. One of them's going to go down, and it, but it's better off just focusing on Brick, though, so... All right, you two attack, and you're going to go back to kabuffing. But yeah, probably better off giving Trio the staff of Gen, uh, in all honesty, but he doesn't have anything else to do with his MP right now, since he went with the... He's going the Luminary path at the moment, so you may as well. Uh, we threw up our kabuff, where we should be okay. You can go back to using Boom. Ugh, so many damn... Oh, wait. Duh. That's why. I was like, where is it? But yeah. Essentially, as long as you boom, uh, kabuff, you're fine. Ooh, th see, that's the good damage right there. Uh, keep attacking, and boom. You're gonna cover? That's fine. Get hurt big time, then. He hasn't even used multi-heal yet. Uh, Brick hasn't yet, so we're in okay straights here. Even if he did, we can out outdo it. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to kabuff this time. The next guy is probably going to be the toughest, though. Let me do that. And we did, got our kabuff back up, so you can go back to booming. Nice! All right, and now we can just kind of wail on him. And she can go to Frizzle, because that's a more economical damage for her magic. She could do Kassizzle, which is like 20 more damage, but it costs a lot more MP. You're better off... Oops. You're better off just using Frizzle. And once uh, Carver gets a better weapon, I'm probably going to give the Fire Claw to uh, Trio so he can do some extra damage. Of course you defend now. But yeah, nice and easy. Like, this is 4 MP, this is 10. So yeah, definitely go with Frizzle. It's also why I'm going to have her learn uh, Armamentalist, so she can get Cuff Frizzle. Even though Breath Damage might do more damage, I think when she gets the Echo Hat, she'll be perfect for... Uh, or the double caprizzle like I did with Ashlyn in another run. But anyway, that's it for Brick and Brock. Next up, I'll see you at the uh, the captain, I think. Is, I forget his name. Brutus? Maybe. Well, I'll see you there. Okay, guys, we're here at Brutus, and he's not too bad, especially since he doesn't spam thin air. Now, if he did spam it, 
we would be definitely in trouble. But we're actually doing, we do actually pretty well. I actually did do some item maneuvering here. Here is Carver. I have gave him a yig. Well, he already had a yig leaf, but I gave him a couple of more sicko essences just in case he actually does need to help healing. He shouldn't, but he might need to, depending on our luck. Uh, for Trio, he's also got a couple more sicko essences just in case. But he's also got magic water in case Millie runs out of MP. Shouldn't need it, but you never know. Same with the yig leaf. And then as for Millie here. Millie's still got the Staff of Ghent. I debated on giving it to Trio, but it's okay. Trio can actually get away with just using his heal spells for now, anyway. Uh, but she's also got a Yig Leaf as well. The Lightning Staff doesn't really matter here. And she's got a couple more Seiko Essences, too. Just in case she's out of MP. But I don't know why I gave it to her when she has the Staff of Ghent, really. I think that, was, that part was actually me just going into auto mode. But anyway, why don't we go ahead and get started. We are ready. Let's do this, Brutus. Just the three of us. For sort of boss time again. Alright, for this... Don't bother using Knuckle Sandwich. It has a 50% chance to work or miss. I don't find that useful. So he is just... For the first turn, he's actually going to go ahead and use Muster Strength. Just may as well, while we try to get Sap out. And she's going to go ahead and kabuff us, because we really need the defense. Okay, it worked. And right off the bat, that sucks. Okay, well, he mustered. Now he can attack. You are going to go ahead and heal her, and she's going to heal Trio. Based on HP necessity. That was pretty good. Oh, now she's got a kabuff. All right, well, attack. Why don't you go ahead and heal, and you kabuff. Essentially, yeah, this is the way this is going. We only got one sap in right now, anyway. Uh, you attack, why don't you go for another sap, and why don't you throw another kabuff out, because we were supposed to be doing that before. There you go. Alright, now this is a case where, well, you've got to keep attacking. You are going to heal yourself, and you're also going to heal yourself. We need, we need that. Unfortunate thing is, Millie and Trio sometimes are not fast enough to outpace uh, Brutus, which can mess things up. Uh, did we get that other sap in? I think we did, yeah. But you can actually just attack now, and you're going to kabuff to get that defenses back up. Yep, there's the damage. Now, keep attacking. Uh, another kabuff. Now, Millie can help with, like, by casting some spells on this guy, but he has resistance to... He has 70% reduction to almost all spells, except for Crackle. Crackle has only a 30% reduction, but when Brutus is fully uh, sapped, it's like, uh, you may as well just have her attack. It's only like a little bit less damage. You're better off, honestly. Yeah, at this point, we're okay now. Yep. Because even she can actually attack decently now. Yep. And this is basically it until we need to heal. Of course you missed. Yeah, anytime he does that, Everyone needs to basically... Well, almost everyone needs to heal. He can get it... He can get away with just healing himself. She needs to make sure she gets fully healed. Just in case. But again, if he could spam Thin Air, we'd be in trouble. Why don't you... Nah, you can keep attacking. Yeah, you guys can keep attacking. Very good. Alright, these two can attack. I'm going to actually have her heal him, just in case of a thin air coming. And now I'm glad I did that. It's a little less that we have to heal next time. Nice crit. Alright, you do that. You can get away with just healing her, and she's going to heal him. It's actually slightly easier to keep up with the healing when you only have three people. Uh, looks like only Carver got sapped, so we can actually do this instead and use buff on him. That'll basically catch him up. And give him even more defense, actually. Alright. And at this point, we could just have everyone attack. Ugh. Carver's still safe, funny enough, though. Uh, okay, you keep attacking. Why don't you go ahead and... Yeah, heal yourself. Heal yourself. She can heal him next turn. Or maybe not. Eh, that's fine. We're good now. Brutus is down. So... That was it, though. Just basically kabuff and keep everyone healthy.
yeah, this is definitely giving me like Dragon Warrior 2 uh, vibes a little bit here. But anyway, that's it for Brutus. I will see you at the next fight. I don't remember which one that is. Okay, guys, we're here for the Jamiris fight. I skipped the Jumping Jackal and Hellstalker that were uh, blocking the way of where Terry kills that, uh, basically kills Lizzie. Yeah, I skipped that because it was very easy, so I decided it wasn't really worth showing this time. On my first run through of Dragon Quest VI, I did show that. But anyway, I did a little bit of more job grinding, but just enough until uh, Carver outleveled the Iridia area. So he's at level 26, so Iridia won't let him get any more job. But he is currently a warrior. I skipped Thief because uh, I wanted him to be a warrior for this part, at least. And besides, he does need to eventually become a do warrior and fighter anyway. But I skipped it just because it'll help him do a little bit more damage, at least. And once he finishes the warrior, I'm probably going to go back to Thief afterwards, just to get the ranger class out of the way. As for Trio, Trio is now on the Luminary thing. I was trying to get to get Hustle Dance, but sadly I wasn't able to do so yet. So that's okay, though. We don't need it as badly as I thought we do. Uh, so, but yeah, he's got Dancer and Gatabout finished. As for Millie, Millie is still working on Priest, but she's basically almost done. She just literally has like a little bit more fights left. So eventually she'll be doing Sage. And once she's done with Sage, I'll probably work on her... Uh, armamentalist stuff so but anyway for our item setup it's not too important but here's our gear we got a yig leaf a more psycho essence and magic water on carver trio he's got a battle axe now it's only a little bit more attack than the cautery sword but it does help uh some a bunch of more psycho essences for emergencies but he doesn't really doesn't should not really need them depending how things go magic water and yig leaf as for millie millie's now got a lunar fan we picked up in iridia it's a little bit better damage for her, so she can actually do some decent damage, though she most likely isn't going to be using it. She also has a Staff of Ghent as well to help with some healing, and one Yigleaf, one Magic Water just in case. Shouldn't need it though. But that's all for it for setup. I will meet you when we start up with Jamiris himself. This is just the earliest portion I can get to showing up our setup. So I'll see you there. Alright, it's boss time against Jamiris. Alright. So, first things first, I should need to take off tactics. I keep forgetting to do that. Anyway, for the first, just like the last fight, for the first bit, we're going to have Carver use Focus Strength. And we're going to have Trio use Sap. And she is going to, once again, go with the Kabuff Train. Because defense is very handy. Okie dokes, we're good there. Let's see. Uh, he did that. He can now Knuckle Sandwich. Knuckle Sandwich almost always hits. It's 50% chance to be resisted. He's going to try and sap again, and she's just going to keep buffing. Try to get our defenses up as high as we can, because he hits hard. Big damage right there. All right, and at this point, he doesn't need to focus strength anymore. He could just Knuckle Sandwich. Uh, sap is completely set at this point, and he doesn't really have anything else he could do. He may as well attack, but he's also... No. He also can just help out with uh, small healing here and there. So why don't you do a minor heal for Carver. And she's going to come up even more. Because, again, he hits hard. Like that! That hurt. Alright, but yeah, he's just going to do steady attacks. He's going to heal himself. And she's going to have to heal herself. Ow. Okay. Yeah, he's just going to wail. Why don't you help heal her? She's going to use, cast buff on herself just to get her defense even higher because he's getting, she's getting targeted. That's okay. She's steady enough now. But yeah, he's good. Yeah, it's just the same as always. These guys, you're going to be seeing Carver doing most of the attacking while Trio and Millie are going to be doing a lot of support. Very good. All right. You can attack, you can attack, and you can go with the Kabuff again, just to get our defenses even higher. I think she just maxed her defense out, but I'm not positive. Mm, maybe not. Alright. Knuckle Sandwich, you don't need to heal. You can actually attack, and she could just step again herself. She has just the right amount of HP right now. Very good. And at this point... You know what? Throw one more Kabuff, just to see. Alright, we're doing okay. 
Once you get your defenses up, you're generally fine. It's only going to be the fire damage that actually matters. And now she can even jump into attack. She does decent damage, so why not? Uh, spells aren't going to be very useful here. Like, Crack, Woosh, Zap uh, are the big damage stuff. But really, if it Frizzles her only thing that does comparable damage, really. So she may as well just attack. I mean, there you go. Crackle probably does a little bit more damage. It's not that bad. But anyway, that's it for Jamiris. Not too bad, honestly. Oh, and we got a level. Nice. As long as you don't get unlucky, you generally can do this, even with just, uh, well, I'm probably a little bit overleveled. I'm not going to lie. Oh, and Trio gets Kerplunk Dance. That's very nice. All right. That could have been useful, I guess. But that's it for Jamiris. I will see you at the next fight.